Okay, with um, this video, I thought I would talk about um, a little bit about performance, uh, game performance, and see if this will kind of help you also kind of isolate what might be the problem that you're having. Um, now, performance, game performance, uh, is there, there's like to me there's two different areas. You have um, like where you have the types of hard drives you use, uh, memory speed, things like I talked about earlier. And I'll go back and revisit that um, here shortly, but what I want to talk about here is CPU usage and GPU usage, um, or you can call it utilization. CPU and GPU utilization. Um, so let's take a look at the game over here, and I'm going to travel around some, but we're going to take a look. Over here on the right, you can see um, FPS, uh, let's get let's get the FPS going here. Okay, so we got to have something we can actually use. So um, now you can see FPS is roughly 60 frames a second. The GPU is only utilized 37 percent, 50 percent. The current temperature of the GPU. Um, you have the memory utilized. I believe this card has 16 gigs. 16 gigs of VRAM, so I'm only using 9 gigs, well under the limit. The memory clock, the GPU clock, that's how fast the GPU is actually trying to process each cycle. Uh, we'll talk about that later. Um, and we'll talk about IPCs, instructions per cycle. We'll talk about that um, and the difference between like Intel and NVIDIA chips. Um, we'll do that later. Uh, but um, you have system memory. You can see that I'm using 15 gigs of system memory. I believe I've got 32 gigs in this in this box. So there's more than enough memory. You don't have to worry about rolling things in and out. Um, you have the CPU being utilized is 14%, and you have the current CPU temperature. Now, each one of these factors can be an indicator to game performance or lag. So let me let me let me go ahead and take this off and let this kind of as I move around, you'll see those numbers kind of change. This is an enclosed environment. It's not very difficult to render for my GPU. There's not a lot of objects and things like that. Any words of wisdom? Even though it is rendering in uh, 5120 by 1440p, so the graphic card is trying to render 4K. It's a small environment. There's not many objects. Um, I'm not using 4K textures. I use 2K textures, um, and they look just they look just they look fine to me. But let's talk about these variables over here. Let's take a look and see what we're looking at. So right now, the frames per second, the FPS is 60 frames a second. Okay, so that would be normal. See how smooth this is when it moves around. No lag, no anything. The GPU is only being used 50, 50, 68, maybe 70, somewhere around these up, 50 to 70% of the, the time, depending on what it's doing. So when you move around, it should change usage depending on what it has to load see and how what it has to show so the I'm more it, the more it has to do the more things change the more it has to render and the more it has to change things um, the the more uh, your GPU is going to be used but you can see it's not a hundred percent what you're looking for is a bottleneck so if the GPU utilization, it's the second one down, if that hits 100%, you know that the GPU cannot handle anymore. It, it can't do it. There's no way. And you're going to start lagging if it requires more. It's, it's, it's overloaded. And it's the same for the CPU utilization. Nice. You can see I'm only using 18%, 15% of my entire hey, CPU. So there's no bottlenecks there whatsoever. Temperature plays a role. It's called thermal throttling. If um, your CPU hey. or your GPU temperature gets too high, like if it gets past a threshold, it will damage the chips. So they will throttle themselves down. The CPU will actually start slowing itself down. It changes its clock speed. It'll decrease its clock rate. And that's the same for the GPU. So you can see that the temperatures should be fine. It's not thermal throttling. Um, one of the ways to get around that on your computer system, if you're fan cooling, uh, my GPU is fan cooled, but my CPU is water cooled. So therefore I can run it at the fastest, fastest possible speed I can run it and it won't thermal throttle itself. Whereas if it's on a fan, it will thermal throttle. 
um, and it'll, it'll have to slow itself down. So you can tell because your fan will start picking up uh, speed. It'll get really strong. It'll sound like a little miniature aircraft carrier taking off. Um, so that's one of the things you can look at is switching from air-cooled, which uses a fan and a radiator, to just a radiator and a water block. Um, they're not that hard to put in. Um, I got mine. I didn't have to like it was it was a sealed system, so I didn't have to run all the wires and or, you know run all the, the tubes and fill it. It's just it was it was just it's a it's a it's an enclosed system, sealed system. So I just mounted the cooler, put some fans on it, and then attached the cooler to my CPU, and I'm good to go. So those are some of the things that can affect it there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to travel to different locations that have a higher demand. So let's go outside. Oh, so, let's see, you're going to have to ignore what she's about ready to say. So, let's go this way. Um, and I have no control over that. She just kind of randomly has conversations. Even though I told her I don't really care for those conversations, she still has them. All right. So, anyways, let's go outside. Uh, we're going to go out of home plate where it's going to render more data. It's, it's going to have a draw distance. So, there's a lot more data being drawn than what was inside. And this is close to downtown Boston where it starts to lag. But what we're gonna look at is we're gonna look at not just frame rate. Everybody always looks at frame rate. We're gonna look at GPU and CPU utilization. Because if your CPU is 100% and your GPU is 50%, that means you're, you're CPU bottlenecking your game. You need more processing power. If your CPU is at 10% and your GPU is at 100%, your GPU is bottlenecking. All right, now let's take a look and I'll show you. So we're still at, eh, not quite 60, we're at 58 frames a second. We're running around uh, inside of Diamond City. And we're actually using, again, some reshade stuff. I don't, like, I don't know why in the world this stuff likes to double that up, but it does. Okay, so, um, so you can see the frame rate drop from 60 to 52, but I want you to notice that it dropped down to 45. Now notice how the GPU started to go up where it loaded some stuff, but it's still not 100%. But my frame rate is still only 50 because all of these lights, shadows, this is what the game has problems rendering, especially if you have a lot of objects. But what I wanted you to see was, do you see how the FPS dropped to 45 frames a second? The GPU is still only 55% utilized, 65. There's still a lot this GPU is not doing. And if you look at the, the CPU utilization, you can see it's only 30%. So I've got good CPU overhead, and I've got good GPU overhead. This, that means... It's not bottlenecking on the GPU. It's not bottlenecking on the CPU. So what that tells me is the game itself, the way the engine is designed, the optimization of the engine is, is, is what's causing the problem, not the GPU and not the CPU. So let's, um, let's, um, I think these two got married, this robot and this dude. Uh, so let me, um, yeah, let them go through their little thing. Never mind. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go to Sanctuary. Now, Sanctuary has a lot more objects. Now, notice when it loads, if it loads from an SSD, it's streaming data in. You'll actually see the FPS drop. But then once data gets streamed in, you'll see it start to pick up. Uh, and the way they kind of designed it is they load LOD, the, the smallest chunk first, the farthest distance away, and then the closer you get, they start loading um, LODs, mipmaps, if you want to call them that, but they, they start loading more detailed images. Um, and that means that, that's why things in the distance looks really janky if you use like a scope, it looks really low res. Uh, but it's a way that they try to provide, it's like a, a trade-off between draw distance and performance. All right, so let's go outside. We're gonna, we're gonna run up this way. All right, let's let's get up outside of here and let's take a look and see what outside of Diamond City does. Uh, but notice now, as you see how the thing went up to sixty, because in my in, in what I can see in in my view, there's not a lot of lights, there's not a lot of shadows. Um, but if you turn around and start looking outwards, you'll notice it starts to drop, because see how it dropped. 
because there's more yeah. shadows, there's, there's more down. objects, and, there's, and I notice the lag. You can down. see when I get about 35, 34, you can see the little jittery. That's screen lag. I don't know if it'll show in the, the actual video itself. But all right, let's go outside of the fence and take a look at that. And then we're going to go to Sanctuary. Um, and then I'll talk about um, I'll talk about some byte code. I'll talk about um, different types of scripting, the way scripting is done. Uh, we'll talk about byte code and things like that. And then we'll actually talk about performance. Uh, take a look at what what goes into the game, uh, like 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 when you're playing a game, what factors in to performance, and we, how you can like organize it and address each one of those. Um, each one of those factors. So give me just a second while this loads, and um, and then like I said, we'll go ahead and check. We'll check it out, and then I'll I'll bust a sanctuary and let you see some real lag, and then um, hopefully it won't crash. Um, I, I'm pretty sure it's related to uh, previous pr broken where, where the uh, they're not matching up, is causing the problem. All right, so now let's take a look. Now see, look at the frame rate up there. We're up in the 30s. Now remember, I'm I'm playing this game at 520 by 1440. If I drop this down to 3000 something by 1080, um, it usually hey. stays at about 50, hey. 60 frames. Um, Be right back. So you can see we're even at 30 frames a second, it kind of moves pretty good. We're at 42 because you had the initial load. Um, of course, you got, this is NPCs will travel. Um, so once I complete Brotherhood Quest, I'll just start running patrols. Um, but you can actually better. see uh, oh, and I do have uh, God Rays turned off. Um, I didn't really like the way that rendered. Um, I didn't really prefer that. But let's just kind of walk out this way. And um, and the more you have going on, the more objects, the more... See, and depends. See how things start to smooth out? Your frame rate goes up. See, we're up above, who is that, 60s, 50s? It just depends on whether you're dealing with shadows and lights and all of this. See how the... And the shadows are kind of dynamic, um, but notice how we drop down to 30 frames a second. Um, I tried doing 30, I think it was like, th now, now, now this over here is a previs precombined problem. There's a broken previs precombined. I think it's mole rat tunnels, but I'm not sure. That is what causes this. And this will literally disable previs precombines, which makes things run even slower in this area, but that's what that is. Um, I have to figure out where it is, which file it is, and uh, that before I can solve it. Um, all right, so now let's save this. Well, let's go up this way a little bit. We'll save this, and then we're going to go to Sanctuary. Now, Sanctuary has a lot of objects. Um, they're not static collections or anything like that. Um, so, whoops, not that way. Let's go this way. Let's go map. Let's get into Sanctuary, and I will show you what lag looks like. But more importantly, what I'm looking at when the FPS drops is GPU and CPU utilization to show you that it's not the CPU's fault and it's not the GPU's fault. It's actually the game engine itself, how the game engine is optimized to do its thing. Even with the more powerful GPU, even with five GPUs, it probably won't make any difference. But it depends on what the game is looking at. I think it's using certain pipes, and once certain pipes get full, other pipes are not used in the GPU, but it considers the game engine considers itself overloaded, so it kind of stalls itself out. Um, I'll have to wait and see what this new update's going to do to see if that's going to actually fix it. Um, I'm not sure what they addressed, and they're not really being transparent about it. Um, and Bethesda is not really transparent anyways. That was the whole point of, I think, Todd being a spokesperson is that, you know, they're not really that transparent. Um, but I like the art department. I think the art department is absolutely top-notch. Great environmental storytelling. Great environments. Um, yeah. All right, fingers crossed. Hopefully this is going to kick in here very shortly. Okay. Now, I want you to look at the, f I want you to look at the FPS up there. Now there's a lot of lights in here. There's lights on buildings, lights on poles, lights inside of buildings. Notice the frame rate. See how it starts to tank. Now it's loading, it, it should already have the objects loaded. 
but this is sanctuary. Now, if I didn't have all of these light sources, because there's light sources in buildings, out of buildings, hanging on, I've got them outside the building, hanging here in the garage area, inside the building, and all of these objects, there's plants. Um, if that was not here, the FPS would be much better. But notice, you're thinking, wow, I'm only doing 30 frames a second. Your graphic card is really kind of jammed up. No, it's not. Take a look. The graphic card is only using 40, 30, 35% of its capability. The memory is the, the graphic card, the, the memory being utilized. Notice it went up to 13 gigabytes, 13,000 megabytes. It's a 13 gig. So it's not quite the 16 gig, so it's still got some overhead. The CPU utilization is only 27, 26%. So I'm not bottlenecked there. The GPU is not bottlenecked. The CPU is not bottleneck. Now, if I was to run this on Cyberpunk, which I can do here maybe when I have some time to do some videos, I'll show you exactly what happens. G the GPU is sitting at 100%, and it stays at 100%. This is not even close. See, 50 60%, okay? And yet the frame rate cannot get above 30-something percent. Th I mean, 30, 30, 30 frames, like 35 frames a second. That is an engine optimization problem. It's not using the resources to its best advantage or it thinks some resources are being overused and it's throttling itself down. So it does not have a GPU bottleneck and it does not have a CPU bottleneck. Um, but at, so at 30 frames a second, scripts are going to happen a little bit slower. Uh, so if I were to hit this per se, now especially if there's a lot of scripts going on, like if I come to an area and there's a lot of dudes hitting the ground and there's a big battle going on, if I was to hit like I did there, it takes longer for this to come up because this comes up because of a script. When I hit the key, a script is executed and it comes up. Now when there's not a lot going on, it'll come up almost instantly. So, and that's script lag. And because the frame rate's low, the scripts aren't being executed because I think there's a slice per frame. Um, so if I'm only doing 30 frames a second, that means I'm only getting 30 slices a time per second to do scripts, whereas if I had 60 frames a second, I'm getting 60 slices in that second, in that one second period to execute scripts. Um, and that's why you can look a certain way. If you want to, to let scripts catch up faster, you want to make sure you're like, sometimes you go to a pip boy let's see what this does. See, going into, notice the FPS almost went up. I would have thought it would have stayed up, but I guess, oh, I'm using uh, Fall Souls, so things are still happening in the background. Um, now, if we go over to Red Rocket, we're going to run a Red Rocket real quick. And I don't want to make this video too long, but I just want to show you the difference. So, see, even though I'm doing, there's 30, 42 frames a second. Now, when I load new areas, it's got to stream new data in. That number's going to go down. If I'm streaming off a hard drive, it's going to be even slower um, than with an SSD or something else. It will affect that. But I want you to notice that frame rate up there. Now, remember, this is... 520 pixels by 1440 so this is actually pushing the limit of what this game can do because the GPU utilization is not a hundred and the CPU is not even 50 percent and I'm still only 22 frames a second that's a game engine issue okay so the GPU should be enough to and that would also be a streaming issue where it's streaming off the hard drive, but you can clearly see right now I shouldn't be streaming that much data. It may stream some LOD, but not much. Um, you can see G now, GPU memory, what may be happening there is it's moving data in and out of the GPU. Uh, new, new things, like it may need to load new textures and things like that. Um, whereas, uh, and that would actually cause... Um, the the the, the 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 frames rate should go down and the GPU utilization would go up because it's actually the driver the GPU driver is having to move data in and out of VRAM. So, but I wanted to show you this so you can actually see that here the frame rates are 30 frames a second. The GPU is is roughly 50% utilized, uh, and then this I have plenty of CPU overhead. That is a game engine problem. There is nothing you can do by putting in a much better GPU and a much better CPU. Um, and like I said, I'll talk about IPC's instructions per cycle. Um, and I'll talk about that a little bit later and why Intel. Intel has a little bit of an edge on that. 
Um, I'll show you why that is. Um, and uh, I don't necessarily know their exact techniques and their, their exact engineering, uh, how they lay out their circuits. But uh, I can just give you a general idea of why it works the way it does. Um, so I hope that kind of helps a little bit. And uh, give me a second to get um, some ideas together. And uh, I'll drop another video down to kind of help you uh, build your game more like the way that you want it. And not just this game, but any game. Uh, you, know, you can mod. like it, 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 Hopefully it'll help you mod um, your games. So... Alright, give me a give me a little bit and I will see what I can do.